All right, Coach. Hey, appreciate you guys always checking out materials I've got. And, and if you have questions after this, feel free to hit me up. You know, one of the things that we've tried to really put out more materials on, because I get hit a lot with this, is how we teach our offensive linemen. And understand that we're kind of that hybrid blend between wing T blocking, which is what we're focused on, uh, but understanding that we're in the shotgun. So, you know, we're not going to be quite as low as like a pistol team or an under center wing team team because we're obviously not going to hit those plays quite as quick as they do. So if you got questions after this is over, that's my cell. Shoot me a text. That's my email. Or you could hit me on Twitter or some social media thing, and I'll do my best to kind of get with you. Uh, this whole deal is going to be about uh, first level down blocks, so the different types of drills we try to work on with first level down block. The first thing I think you need to talk about when you're doing uh, down blocks is, you know, kind of what are our goals? So we have an O-line kind of drill list that we work on. And that's what a lot of materials that I'm putting out are going to be towards is different drills you can run, but no drill is worth anything if your linemen don't really understand how that works in a game. So they need to understand, hey, if we're down blocking, where are we running the ball? is going to be the other direction. So they need to understand that, hey, we want to get a steel block there. We want to talk a lot about uh, pad level. You know, we would like to be lower. We're not wing T level low. But we're pretty close. We do want to block with our shoulder and try to pin guys and then bring our, we do bring our hand. That's a little bit different than the old kind of shoulder block. Both are good. We try to bring our hand to kind of get the seal to hold a little longer. And then we only want to work blocks that each position is going to do. Down block for us is one that across the board, you know, we're going to perform if we play a wing, tight end, or any lineman at some point, we're going to be working on a down block. We do, number three here, work to adjust the drill to the opponent. Recently, we just played a team that was what we would consider to be an anchor team. They were tough to move. They played kind of across the line of scrimmage, uh, big, thick kids. We're not really trying to get penetration. We're trying to read your block. So because of that, our down block will look a little different than it would against a kind of stemming, pinching, moving team. You know, against, against a team that's an anchor team playing across the front, we're actually going to step to their back. We're going to actually block them, put our head on their back uh, so that we can get the seal and they can't cross our body. If we're playing a stunting team or a team we're unaware of, then we would try to get our head a, a, across in front. The traditional way down blocks are done. So major goals are pretty simple. Obviously, we want to seal the defender inside, and our guys need to understand that's the goal. And we're going to give you all these tools and tips to help you, but whatever it takes, seal that guy inside. Okay. Uh, don't allow them to be unblocked. So if they're upfield players, you got to understand we may need to step flatter, shrink our splits. If they're not, then we need to understand, hey, we, we're going to need number three here. We're going to step to the back hip and seal them. So kind of understand that. We can tell our kids right out the gate, hey, this team is probably going to be an upfield team. This team is probably going to try to read your blocks. We can't always tell them what they're going to align in we can tell them what technique that they're going to use. So knowing that, here's kind of how we go through our first level down blocks. We do second level down blocks as well. That's not on this one, but I'm sure I've got other things you can watch that talk about that. First level down block is something we're probably going to do every single day. Um, I really can't think of a time where we didn't do some flavor of down block in any practice we've ever run. So it's something we're going to do quite often. Uh, we try to squeeze in these four different flavors of it. Uh, sometimes, you know, we may have 10 minutes on down blocks. So we can spend more time. As the season moves, you know, we try to squeeze as many of these into a five-minute period as possible. Again, don't forget the primary objective. What are we trying to do? Seal the guy inside. Don't let him cross untouched. So we'll go first step. A lot of time we call that plus drill where we'll go from a stance, take one step plus drill. Second step, we're starting now to bring the hand and, and get the turn. 
Um, and then we will work a no hand drill. Where we're really focusing on our pad level, making sure that our head's where we want it and that we're working our feet on our seal. And then we work the full turn to the end zone and hot feet. Those are kind of the four different drills. I'm not going to put a lot of first step drill because I think most guys kind of understand, you know, what a first step would look like. Make sure there's no sound on this. But basically, you can kind of see Coach Gould's back here. Our other offensive line guy, our defensive line coach is standing there as well. So we're going to go from a stance. Some of these guys are doing a good job getting their hand up to kind of give us that leverage, try to keep us low. You can see it on this one. And on this one, they're doing a good job working on making sure we're staying low. And you can tell it's helping because that's way too high. Okay. But the hand is where we want. So we're taking two steps. So the first step ought to be a short step. And then the second step, we're bringing that foot. So we're bringing that foot. We're starting to get the seal. You can tell this is we're working a different opponent. So we are working back hip. So this is actually is not what we want a younger player just learning. We want the back hip, 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 and we're already working to the seal. So that's kind of what we want, step one, two, and then we're gonna work adding more to it as we go, okay? If this team was an upfield team, then we would want to cross their face, okay, like this player's doing. I'm sure everybody's got that guy that's just learning. All right, so here's another video, same deal, still two-step. Same look, okay? Still stepping on the back hip right here. And again, you can see we need to have our hands up. Right here's a good one, our hands up. Right here's good, we got a flat back stepping. Not bad here, too high here, okay? And then we're learning, okay? A uh, real quick tip for young coaches, you know, uh, spend your time, coach them all up early, but in the season, coach up the guys that are gonna play in the game, okay? Uh, you'll kind of see that with some of our guys or we'll get some younger ones here. So you're going to see seconds, two steps. So a couple of times through, we should have our head on the back and we bring in our left hand. We're stepping down, boom, boom, there's our hand. You can see the coach kind of getting on them here. Put your hand up to give us a leverage deal. Get your hand up, step right there. And then we're just working those two steps and you know, working on just the angle we want to take. We should have our head on his back hip, okay? All right, so that's the two step. Then we're gonna work a no hands. And I think really, if you watch, you can tell we're working with this young guard right here, Coach Gould standing behind him. So you'll watch, he'll actually go ahead, step where he's supposed to go and go no hands. Cause we're really working with this kid on blocking with our shoulders. Okay, pretty two pretty good ones here, but right, see that turn, that's what we want. Okay, we don't really wanna bring our hands. We want that turn right there. Okay, and we, we're trying to, teach them block with our shoulder the hands just kind of a lever okay so you can see again pretty good job i think i've got some still shots of it so again we're going to make contact low okay then we should be turning our body we would like him to sink his hips a little more there still a lot to work with he's a young one they're going to be pretty good for us we think but we are working on now turning him so get our hand on the back hit on the back hip turn him if this guy was an upfield player then obviously we're going to change our our head placement okay then we have turn and hot feet so if you'll watch the edge right over here turn and hot feet pretty good job here on step step turn and hot feet okay would like the feet to be hot all the way but you can tell he's working on his technique and he's running those feet i think i've got a couple of stills of it so here's your initial contact head on the back hip because this was an anchor team okay and you can see right here we're starting to turn our feet with that lean turning our hip. Now this guy's a 190 pound guard. He's going to have to lean and kind of be a little aggressive to get guys moved and sealed. Okay. But that's what we want. Good contact here. Bring that other hand on the back and then seal the player. Pretty good job. We thought, okay. Obviously I've got more information guys. If you're interested in it, um, I'll have other drills coming out, especially for O-line. We're working on that O-line manual, which hopefully will be done uh, or is done now. Uh, we're really close with it. To me, offensive line play is pretty simple. Don't get bored. Make sure they understand why they're doing what they're doing. Coach up the finer details of it and then really, really preach effort.